Hi, and welcome to the VAT returns section of our Crunch Accounting Guides. Today we're going to have a look at the VAT returns section. We're going to show you how VAT returns are dealt with in Crunch and how simple it is all made. And we're also going to have a quick think about how VAT works and what the options and benefits around that are. Now, please be aware that VAT registration is not mandatory, but it can have benefits. So if you're not yet registered, but you think maybe it would be a good idea to register, be a really good option to get in touch with us and have a little chat about the different options and what facilities are available for you in terms of VAT registration. Just remember as well that we do all of the registration for you, so there's no legwork and effort from your end. So if you are unsure on any of that, please feel free to get in touch and let's have a chat and go over the options with you. Now, VAT is done on a quarterly basis. This means that every three months you will need to file your VAT return via your Crunch account. Now, finally, your VAT returns is made incredibly simple. VAT, as I said, is done on a three month basis. All you need to do is ensure that the VAT period in question, the three months of time, you need to make sure that all of your transactional data, such as sales and expenses for that period, are recorded into your Crunch account. Now, as long as they've been recorded, you can come into this page and you can choose to view the VAT breakdown. Now, the VAT breakdown will show you the VAT that is due or the VAT that is returned on purchases, if that's applicable to you guys. Now, you can see the VAT time frame in question. So as long as my account is up to date between January and March here, then I know for sure that these figures will be exactly correct. If my information isn't correct, I'll need to leave this page go into the sales or expenses sections and add in any missing information. Once I'm happy, I can display the VAT return. Now, on my first VAT return, there's some additional information because there are some extra things which can be claimed. Now, we're not going to go into masses of detail on all of these now, just for the sake of time. But please be aware, if you are on your first ever VAT return, please get in touch with us to go over some questions because you may have some additional things which can be reclaimed on that first return. So once we're happy, we can view the VAT return here. Now we can see the sections in our VAT. I know that it's all correct because the Crunch system has calculated everything for me based on my figures that I've entered. So I can tick the button, which confirms that I know this information is true and complete, and I can then submit the VAT return. So this has now been submitted. When you submit your return, an accountant here at Crunch will file this for you and once it's filed you will get a notification come through via email to let you know that that's been done. You can then go and make the payment if applicable to HMRC and I can then record that here by selecting record VAT payment. So nice and simply I just put the date and then the account that it was paid out for. Now if you ever get a rebate for VAT you will just record the payment in the same way. However, this time around, you will mark it as coming in back to you rather than going out to the revenue. Now do bear in mind there are two different schemes for VAT, the flat rate and the standard rate. If you're unsure about which scheme you are on or which scheme would be most beneficial to you, I highly advise you have a little look in our help center or you can get in touch with us with your account manager or accountant and they can discuss the options and what might be the best setup for you. So this concludes our look at updating and submitting VAT returns using your Crunch accounting software.